Hallelujah. We appreciate the Lord who has given us this opportunity today. Those that are viewing us from all over the world, may you increase your focus. I want you to just hear a few words before we engage ourselves into prayer. There are spirits that are very close to us, which torments us every day, which must depart. Hallelujah. So today, I just want to break and explain one or two before we do our deliverance. What prompted me to have this teaching was because of the questions that I was asked by someone who is very close to me and he, and he is in ministry. He asked me a question that I thought is common knowledge. But later realizing that if it's coming from a man of God, then it's not common knowledge. There are demons that dwell with us that are even actually used to church. Yeah? The demons that are actually used to church. They can actually attend with you. We call them familiar spirits. What is the name? Familiar spirits. Familiar spirits. What are these type of demons? They develop to become any type of a demon which attacks you, but they are very close to you to the extent that they move with you, they survive with you, they stay with you, and they carry serious knowledge. They carry serious knowledge about you or even your family. They carry serious knowledge about you and even your family. When this type of demons manifest, it takes a prophetic eye to know if one should put a microphone or not. That's why you see when I'm doing deliverance with overseers, at some point, I put a microphone and at some point, I remove it. Familiar spirit gains power by talking. Did you hear what I said? What happens? They gain power by talking. Why? When they talk, they confuse you all. When they talk, they confuse you all. Because they are familiar spirits. I have given you this example before. Before ministry, 2009, somewhere there, people in my neighborhood were very much aware that I would pray for people. Remember, I was a Catholic. But this is before the launch of PhD ministries. So they were very much aware that I would pray for people. But most often people are afraid of inviting a brother of another ministry to pray for their people. There was one young girl who manifested in this church close to Unit L where I was staying. And the demon said, I am in the clothes. They changed their clothes. She was having these very long braids. The demon then said, I mean the braids. They did cut the braids as they were doing deliverance. But this young girl also had very long nails. So after some minutes, the demon manifested and said, I mean the nails. The bishop said, Ah, find the nail cut. Cut the what? The nails. Later on, the demon said, I mean the eyes. (laughs) 
That's when they then said, ah, we need a different prayer because we can't take off the eyes. What they were dealing with is called a familiar spirit. Check with your neighbor if your neighbor is understanding. I want to see if your neighbor is not sleeping yet. Check with your neighbor if your neighbor is, 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 is understanding. Hallelujah. The common power of familiar spirit is divination spirit. Divination spirit. D-I-V-I. Divination spirit. It is the common power. Divination power allows somebody even to tell you the truth, although the truth is not from God. Divination spirit can make one to prophesy, but also not even prophesy from the power of God. Familiar spirits. They use divination spirit. That's why when a demon manifests and it's a familiar spirit, it can give you accurate deaths, it can give you accurate names, it can give you accurate events, but it's a demon. Why? That divination spirit in it has power to see the hidden things. It has power to see the hidden things. It has power to see the hidden things. So most people, they see prophets and other men of God saying, out, out, and then they give a microphone to a demon. Not knowing what is happening. A familiar spirit gains power by confusing you. It is the same spirit that has made most sisters and brothers, cousins, not to talk to each other. It specializes in separating families. Familiar spirit. If Right now we are here, right? If it manifests on your cousin on another church, trust me, your name will be mentioned. You may not know right now, you are seated right now, but you are a witch to somebody's church. I will ask your neighbor. You are a witch <laughs> and these people won't tell you to talk about it. You don't to you? A familiar spirit operates in such manner. And I remember writing one of the book, The Marine Spirit. I explained and I told you and I said, this familiar spirit operates even in church. Operates even where? In church. Covered with a lot of familiar spirit with divination power a man can stand in front of you and claim to be a prophet. And he can operate for years and years claiming to be one good prophet. Why? Because he can tell you accurate dates, accurate event, but what is the source of the spirit? Hallelujah. 
Speak to your neighbors around you. I want you to check if they are understanding before I open the Bible now. You speak to your neighbors. Are you here? Are you understanding what is happening? Are you understanding what is happening? Hallelujah. Are you here? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Children of God, be careful of such a spirit. It is an act of what is called replacement. You go to them and say, Ah, no, man of God, I'm having a problem in my hand. Or they will tell you, you've got a problem in your hand. They heal you. You go. Tomorrow your back starts. Then you say, Yesterday I was healed. I'm not going for my back. If, I, if somebody who is lying use your hand, you will be like, ah, the power is there. But tomorrow you are having a back problem. For you to connect with, no, there was just a replacement. It's difficult. You are not a prophet. So most people, you they go to places where exchange happens. They heal the leg, they hit the back. They take the brain, they give you life. It's a replacement. It's a replacement. That's why four or five weeks ago, I was preaching and I said to you, most of you, I said, now we must grow in the spirit. That we must also grow in discernment. That if anyone stands in front of you preaching, even mentioning the word Jesus, it must come to your conscience and say, that's not the real Jesus that he's speaking about. Because we are all looking for power. We're all looking for power. So if power is demonstrated, most of us, we are not then careful to check what type of power is this. If you remember very well, five years ago, six years ago, I wrote a book, The Source, when I was praying over children who came because of the marine spirit, Mweoku, Chikwa, and everything. You remember that? That most people manifested, yes, it's a baby, but what is the source of the baby? But what are you going to say? For the and we want to correct it, so don't worry. We want to correct it. May the true power of God deliver us completely and do not allow us to be deceived in this world. Musatendera kunyengezwa when you are being liberated from poverty spirit, it must be true liberation. And you must feel the freedom. The results must speak for themselves. The results must speak for themselves. Hallelujah. Now, the book of Acts chapter 16, verse 16, explains of a young girl who was prophesying even to Paul and Silas. And the young girl actually said, these people are from God. These people are from God. What they tell you is true. 
The Bible says the young girl spoke like that several times as Paul and Silas were passing by. But one day, Paul and Silas were greatly annoyed. <laughs> they just turned and rebuked the spirit there and then. But the Bible then says there were people who were making money. There were people who were making money out of this male spirit which was dwelling in this girl. But the Bible says then he left her. Meaning the spirit was a male spirit causing the divination spirit. There were people who were making money out of this sliver of this young girl. People who were actually benefiting out of the attack of this young girl. I want you to listen to me very carefully. There are people who can actually enjoy your suffering. When I say these words, I want you to take them as they are. If anyone is benefiting out of your suffering, out of your confusion, if anyone is benefiting because you are struggling, uh, it must end today in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, a lot of people were greatly annoyed just because the young girl was delivered. Magaragara, much to Bazero, Magaragara, much to me, hundred pounds, Magaragara, much to me, but what can go near us? Some words want to go to what would have shine. One of our run, I'm made the anointing of today. Give us strength to be able to stand alone in this world. Simbana Marin Gariti Kundi say, Tigonekumira Teganasi. In Jesus' mighty name. The power of God must assist us today that now, we may be able to stand. In that same preaching, in that same preaching, I want to touch on from verse 25. And I want you to chapter, chapter 16. It says, But at midnight, Paul and, and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, I want that word. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake. So the foundations of the prisons were shaken. And immediately, all the doors were opened. And everyone's chain were loosed. <laughs> My first trip to South Africa. It was very, very long back. Very, very long back. I went, I went by road. But I went to this small, my first time to go to South Africa. I think I was 18 or 19. I went to this small, I had not seen it in Zimbabwe. There are automatic doors. Whereby the moment you step nearer, the sensors on the doors, they automatically open. I remember smiling and when I stepped, I did not know about these doors. When I stepped and the doors opened, I went back a bit just to notice if it's really happening. These doors, they don't care if you are male, female, young or old. The moment you go close to them, suddenly and immediately, the doors opens. I want to claim that same anointing for you today. Whenever you go close to whatever you're looking for, May every door of your life start to open. There and there, there and there, there and there, there and there, in the name of Jesus. Dins go imuna matu angwa nas. Kune mwe jaira church. Kune mwe jaira ama. Kune mwe jaira basarako. Nasinga iente. Matos yesa furike. I want you to tell three people, just say suddenly and immediately. Tell them suddenly and immediately. Tell them suddenly and immediately.
Am I speaking to you? Are you here? I, I, I know what I preach may scare you. What do you mean by saying suddenly? There, there, there is a situation. There is a situation. Paul and Silas are in prison. They are in prison. And the Bible says they are not only in prison, but on the center of the prison. And they decided to praise and worship him. And God did not say, I delay to answer. He did not say, I will come when it's time. Ah, the Bible says, suddenly. I'm going to is <laughs> There are certain prayers that have to be answered there and there. But I want to go to the United States. But I want to go to the United States. But I want I'm not denying that God can bless us in November and December. It's an obvious thing. We are getting in the night of turnaround. But I'm saying before we reach the night of turnaround, there is an immediate blessing that we are requesting today. There is an immediate blessing that we are requesting today. Kawanga usina kurongera gakambo uya. Kawanga usina kurongera gakambo uya. I speak and I prophesy. I speak and I prophesy. Suddenly there must be a turnaround in your life. Suddenly there must be a turnaround in your life. Papa, pane kasi kumbore kasi adoni zwa chete nasi na manguana. Pane si kumbore si nani kwa nasi na manguana. A blessing that has to come between people. May you become one of those that are going to stand in the queue and say, The man of God preached on Sunday and said, Immediately, immediately, all the chains that were bounding me, all the chains that were holding my life have been broken completely. And I am a testimony, I am a living testimony, I am a living testimony. Quickly, as soon as possible, as soon as possible, and I tell you it is possible. I speak with confidence. I know what I'm saying. A testimony is yours. An immediate change is yours. An immediate change is yours. An immediate change is yours. No zero. When is this far? I'm testifying very soon. 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 Jesus, Mama, you, 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 you may sit. I want to take out. I want to take out. Uh. <laughs> you know, there, there, there's a very interesting verse. Yes. 
<laughs> it says, and the keeper of the prison, awaking from sleep and seeing the prison doors open, supposing the prisoners had fled, drew his sword and was about to kill himself. All these things that are happening, the owner of the prison, who was a decision maker at that time, as a prison ward to keep the prisoners, was sleeping. And everything that God was doing, he was doing it whilst the prisoners were hearing, but the owner of the prison was sleeping. May your enemies miss this escape. Yes, one thing is gone. Negotiate the situation. Negotiate. But no kanda, but no kanda o. But no zinga, but no furi zira o. But you don't want to wandi na o. Vakavata, gaba oneta kuseri. You don't want to wandi na o. Vakayeverwa, gaba one walk to a driver. Gaba zona rakati de muchato. Wafunza na kuti kuwakaro warini. Gaba zona waku adesa kumabiko. Nati vakavata, gaba one wayambuka. I declare that as your enemies are sleeping, may they wake up to seeing you blessed. But signature decision buying that there are some people that don't necessarily participate in witchcraft but they may sign signatures to end you and they wake up to you as they are sleeping No, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. Whilst you are standing, I'm about to finish. Whilst you are standing, the Bible says the prison ward was about to kill himself. And the poor said, No, 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 I'm still here. Then the ward said, Ah, can I follow your God? Ah! That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, testimony <laughs> Ite kuti mwengu wako hati nda kutaza. Unaona mata mwariru zi. I want your testimony to convince your enemies that they failed. I'm going to show you a rap. Mchinda uyo ndiye uyo kutokia Jerry. Is the one who locked the prison. This, this guy is the one who locked the prison. He's the one who was carrying the keys. He's the one who was told to put them in the inner part of the prison. He was the one who was in charge of their pain. But when God touched the life of Paul and Silas, it made him to be converted there and there to the extent that he asked and said, what type of God do you worship? Can I follow your God? May your testimony be so tremendous. May your testimony be so big. May your testimony be so instant that even your enemies, even your enemies, I want you to hear me. Even your enemies must want to follow your God.
Wakona wa vengi, wasadwa kukuterera. Amwara wasadwa abata. Muridzwe ki. <laughs> Muridzwe ki. Aka funza po, wanzi. Muna na matanguwai. Ma prayers ya unyaka mira sayi. Uto tada wene weneze, tuku fasta ma weneze mazono. Weneze achi munga tangi nguwai, munga hende nenere. Nyambado wa kazo wana kuti, ha, iyo ota yache ya kaita seko. Marungo bata dombo na kaita seko. Marungo pina muota ama kaita seko. Iyo mfure yache wa rungu mboma, iyo mfura ruziko. Tazama kuti ngashifa ajisikufa. Tazama kuti ngashi broka ajisiku broka. Tazama kuti ngashi rambuka ajisiku rambuka. Tazama kuti zoka ajisiku zoka. Ota wana kuti dinona matamuare mupenyu. Dinona matamuare mupenyu. I want your testimony to be so big. That it will convince your enemies on the weight of the God that you worship. Father, I speak that grace today. I speak that grace today. Baba kuni awa wari kugamshira ngava gamshire zvavo kuni awa wari kutenda wari kuti izwa ravo sande yanasi kudzikiswa kwemunana unoshamisa kudzikiswa kwesimba rinoshamisa ngazi shanduke ngazi woneke kuti pane ruoko rwadzika rwanasi i speak a mighty hand of god 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 are you, are you here? A mighty hand of God. Something is wrong. I think I stumbled in my area. I am talking about a testimony that will shock people because if it doesn't shock people, then it is not our God. Muna. Abuda Kufa kwa mko. Wata ndingo ofe, ndisha fanda roa, saka ziri na nitenga ndato zura ya zangu. Shika anzi na po, oh. Sani zika na ago, tiripo. Tiripo. Doe, doe, ndia kupari zila last week, but wanye, kuti usanye, usanye kune tseka na newaro hysteric, hysteric. Ngavango, wana kubudira kwa ku. Do, do not be troubled by which is too much. Let them just see your progress. Chito watu mila shuga kwa to atara kuti makadi ikoko yo shuga ufunza kuti munhu hasire watakatsinga last week takatsinga munhu uyu takanokora tsoka dze munhu uyu takadzikanga takazama zvatazama chichiri kuti kane munhu uyu ndava funza na to abuda sei abuda sei your enemies must be shocked on how you escape muri pano muri pano here ازنينيزيرا <laughs> Testimony after testimony. Testimony after testimony. Testimony after testimony. That's what I'm speaking. That's, that's what I'm prophesying right now. Now, I, 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 I love the attitude of Paul and Silas. As you are still standing, I'm, I'm about to finish. I love the attitude of Paul and Silas. They were very positive. They, they were just positive. They were inside the prison. In the middle part of the prison. If most people are attacked, they mourn very quickly. They cry. 
But crying and mourning has never invited God. What invites him is the joy in the Lord. What, 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 what invites him is the joy in the Lord. That's what God said, ah, let me join the party. Let me join the praise and worship. And then when God joined, it's obvious he can't fit into prison. So there must be an earthquake because of his presence. It is, it is now one of the biggest stories in the Bible where the power of the Lord contradicted everything about the judgment which was given on the street market with the major street of the, of the township. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward for people today, this afternoon, who are saying we are calm and we are ready. We have that joy in the Lord. We are anticipating. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are anticipating the receiving of this declaration today. We, we are ready for it. We are ready for another action of testimonies. We are ready for another level of testimonies. We, 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 we can't remain the same. Through the power of the living God, we are ready. And, and I'm looking for people who are understanding my words. I'm saying suddenly, please hear my declaration. I'm not saying anything beyond this month. I, I'm, I'm saying now. If, 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 if you change my words, that's your own personal problem. I'm, I'm not missing my words. I, I, I'm saying tomorrow is Monday. I'm, I'm, I'm saying the first is what? The first is, is, is Wednesday, second Thursday. So I'm saying Monday, tomorrow, Tuesday, and to midnight, somewhere there, something must happen. This, this coming Wednesday, we are also back here. I want you to fast again. We'll then pray for November and the other days. But, but my declare, please don't miss my words. Don't miss my words. Don't miss my assignment. What God has sent me to come and say. What made me to open up a walkthrough altar a, a, few, a week before a big event, which we have never done. But please don't miss my words. My words are very simple. Immediately. Immediately. Those are my words. Immediately. According to the word right now, I'm saying immediately. That familiar spirit, that common marine spirit, all those demons which were holding your testimony, they must drop today and immediately you must testify. I don't know if it's going to come as a big cell on your shop or on your business. I don't know if it comes come as a big appointment. I don't know if somebody's going to rem remember you. I don't know if somebody's going to just buy you a gift. I, I don't know how it's going to come. But what I know is we are praying and your words are very simple. Until you choose the midnight, Lord. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Until Tuesday. Until Tuesday evening, uh, something, something must happen. T -t Today is Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday. Tuesday evening, something must happen. Good news from your doctor. Good news. Good news from whoever. Good news. Good news from your relative. Good news from your employer. Good news from your business partner. Good news. Good news, 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 good news from someone that is relevant in your life. Good news, good news. One may say, yes, I received a good news before. Receive another one. Well, let it be pegged on top of your life. Let people change their decisions to your favor today. As they sleep, may they always be thinking about you. May you appear in their dreams. 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 Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Father, we force it in. 
We declare it in the name of Jesus. It is a decree. These two coming days, today, Monday and Tuesday, may things change to their favor. May everything be in order. May they receive good news. That's our prayer. That's our prayer. That's our prayer. As our enemy is sleeping, may we progress in Jesus' mighty name. As our enemy will be sleeping, may we progress in Jesus' mighty name. As our enemy will be sleeping. May we progress in Jesus' mighty name. As our enemy will be sleeping. May we progress in Jesus' mighty name. As our enemy will be sleeping. May we progress in Jesus' mighty name. May you lift your hands right now. What is your choice? What is your choice? What is your choice? But good news. We've all been beaten by situations at some point, but there is a time we need now it's good really different. We, 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 we want something better. We want something better. We want something better. Good news. Good news, good news, good news, good news, good news. Good news, good news, good news, good news, good news. Good news to everyone here. Father, I pray. 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 I pray, Lord. I pray. I pray. I pray. I pray. I pray, Lord. I pray, Lord. I pray, Lord. I pray, Lord. Good news to your spirit, to your life. May it happen to you. May it happen to you. Be the custodian of this good news. Be part of this good news. Start to claim it right now. Start to claim it. Just say, I can hear the words. I can hear the preaching. Good news. 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 Your life. 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 Good news to your life. Good news to your life. Good news. What's that side? What's that side? What's that side? Good news to your life. 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 Start to claim it. 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 Start to claim it right now. 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 Good news to your life. Good news to your life. Say thank you, Lord, for good news. Thank you, Lord, for good news. Marito kutenda ine na uta kanaka. Ita marito kutenda ine na uta kanaka. To kutenda ine na uta kanaka. Claim it right now. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We pray. Amen and amen.